let's start with why you should think about flashing a custom ROM on your 5 Pro. First and foremost reason is the stock Android experience. It's clean, light, no bloatware and RAM efficient. Second reason could be battery. The new Rim UI update could have ruined your battery backup. Third reason could be you are bored of Rim UI and want to experience new software or custom ROM. The first thing you will notice after shifting to custom ROM or pixel experience in particular is the battery backup. It will last much longer in your day-to-day -day usage. I didn't test it or compared the charging time, but it will be almost the exact same. If you are a light user it could last you a whole day. And if you are a moderate or heavy user who play games and push your phone capabilities to the fullest you will need to charge it at evening most probably. I am attaching screenshots so you can get the idea of battery backup. Now, let's talk about performance. So this device comes with Snapdragon 712, and if it's paired with stock Android, the performance does become better. But there isn't a day-night difference between this and Dream UI. But the overall experience becomes much better. With Pixel experience you wouldn't face stutters, animations drop while opening apps, or switching between apps. If you feel like Dream UI isn't optimized, has animation drops, then you will find this ROM super smooth. And the RAM management also becomes better because now the system is lighter and consumes much less RAM. For the camera part, let's keep it short. You have to use Gcam for clicking pictures and videos on custom ROMs. You can use any other third-party camera apps but for me, Gcam is the go-to camera app on custom ROMs. And there is no need to explain the Gcam's quality or dynamic range, it's best for photos. For video, you can shoot 1080 at 60 FPS. You can use Gcam version 7 or 8. Now, the overall experience. How is my experience with this ROM? I have explained all the things, and at the end, only one thing matters that is the experience. The animations were smooth af, battery backup was great, RAM management and performance also good, and overall the ROM was pretty smooth. If you are tired of the bugs and problems with Rimui which has now become common with new updates then you should give this custom ROM, or any other custom ROM a try. It's worth the process, and it is not that difficult to flash custom from.